All right, this is our Sunnybrook Titan. Do a quick walk around here. Try to show, there's a few blemishes on the exterior. I'll try to zoom in on those and stuff here. Don't mind our forklift. What we used to get power to it. Uh, first little blemish here was on the front cap. It's basically, the customer did his own little patch. He must have got into something in the corner. Um, could probably use a little bit more caulk through here. And then also through here, the caulking is starting to get a little bit dried up. So nothing a tube of caulk can't fix. Um, underneath here, if you were worried about leaks or anything, everything is still very solid. It's not that anything is leaked and rotted out or anything like that. So move along here. Kind of pointed out in some pictures, the decals are getting a... A little bit faded, they're starting to curl up a little bit. Again, me, mostly cosmetic stuff. I got the storage compartment open here. So you can see how large that is. You can actually access it from the front or the far side over there. And it's also got a pull-out tray. So you can access, if you got your lawn chairs really deep in there or something, you can slide that out and make them easier to get to. LP tanks are located in this compartment, battery goes in this compartment, and this one's actually just another little storage compartment here. So continue around the side here. Next little blemish I wanted to point out, the fenders are a little old, getting dry and cracking up in a few places. Again, mainly cosmetic, but you can see most of the Everywhere there's a screw, basically, it's got a little bit of a crack to it. Another storage compartment there. Try to get you another big shot here. Lots of windows, which is great, lets a lot of light in. Ladder up to the roof. Roof looks in pretty good shape. I'm not going to try to climb up there with one hand though. <laughs> Another storage compartment. Kind of the same thing on this fender. You know, everywhere there's a screw, it seems like there. No, that one's actually not too bad. Down here there's a couple more cracks. But other than that, again, cosmetic decals peeling a little bit on this side as well. Moving up front here, this is kind of your utility station. You got power cord adapter, it's got cable in. Um, you've got a black tank flush on this, or you can actually hook up a garden hose and let it flush out your black tank for you. Um, the lower compartment door here is actually just to get to your drain release valves to empty your black tank and things like that. They're enclosed in where there will be a little bit of heat and stuff too. Uh, this is the large storage compartment door that we saw from the other side. And then here is your front landing gear controls is all that's in there. So to raise your, your landing gear up and down for when you're hooking and unhooking on your truck. I'll give you one more wide shot here. And I'll actually make a separate video for the interior here.